I'd like to speak of the meaning and the significance of the Buddha in our lives and in these times. We can understand the meaning of the Buddha on several different levels. We can understand the Buddha as a historical person. He was born you know, in the 5th century BC, and he lived um, in a certain town, city of northern India, grew up, all the individual historical circumstances of his life. We can understand the Buddha also as a universal archetype, not just as a particular historical individual, but as an archetype of the fully awakened mind, the potential of that awakening or that enlightenment. And when we understand the Buddha as a human archetype of awakening, we see his life not simply as the strivings and realizations and difficulties of a particular of a particular individual, but we see it we see all the circumstances of his life as the unfolding of a great mythological journey, a sacred journey. Now mythological here does not mean unreal. Mythological doesn't mean illusory or imaginary. When we think of the Buddha the Buddha's life as a sacred mythological journey. Mythological means that which universalizes the particular, that which universalizes the individual. So the Buddha is a historical person, Buddha as universal archetype of awakening. The third meaning of the Buddha is that of we could say ultimate reality. There's a story of uh, one monk in the Buddha's time <clears throat> entranced by the physical form, the Buddha's physical form. And so he would always, this monk would always be sitting up front and just gazing at the beauty, the physical beauty. After some time, the Buddha reprimanded him. He said, you could look at this body, this form for a hundred years and you would not see the Buddha. Those who see, those who understand the Dharma see the Buddha. And so in this way of understanding, we see that the Buddha is the holy or the fully liberated mind. This has tremendous significance for us because when we realize this, that those who see the Dharma see the Buddha, we realize that Buddha mind, the Buddha, is not outside of ourselves. It is the ultimate nature of our own minds. So where do we look for the Buddha except within ourselves? You know, in coming into the hall, and some of you uh, may bow or pay respects in one way or another. When we bow to the Buddha or pay respects, really it is bowing to love. It's bowing to compassion. It's bowing to wisdom. Because that is the real meaning of Buddha. Buddha.